What's up guys? It's the fish and we're doing yet another Hitcore 2021 booster box. This is unboxing video number three. I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I hope I have some good luck. We got seven mythics in our last box. We're going for eight today. Is it possible? I don't know. All right, again, straight to it. First pack. Be a little something. Whoa, this is strange. This is a very like loose pack strange all right well I think this is missing something if this is just a straight god box that'd be pretty dope let's not stab ourselves with the samurai sword oh this is weird this is the opposite way Demonic Embrace. Do you see that? What the heck? This must be a different box. Alright, so we're going backwards. <clears throat> Seasoned Hollow Blade. Pestilent Haze. Chandra's Pyreling. Sky Center. Alchemist, Alchemist Gift. Death Blossom. Wall of Ruins. Makeshift Battalion. These over here. Oneka Ogre, Pitchburn Devils, Liliana Stewart, Ornery Dillofus, I don't even know, Scorching Dragonfire. That just felt light. It's weird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16? All right, 6, 16 cards. Okay. Guess it's all Gucci. Just want to look at the bottom of this real quick. I'm sorry, guys. This is made in Japan. The other box was made in USA. Okay. That's why. We got some Japanese boxes. This to be a little different. That's why it feels light. The packaging feels different. We have figured it out. It's made in Japan. <clears throat> so I'm assuming these are first prints. I think. Alright. Spark Hunter Massacre for our rare uncommons and our commons. And I think I'm a little off that stuff. All right. This box threw me off a little bit. Sorry, guys. Just want to make sure I'm on point. I literally just opened <clears throat> a Made in USA box, so... Going from that to this, it's a little strange, for sure. Foil Ricky rookie mistake, and our first mythic Basri Cat. This is a pretty solid mythic. Um, I like him. Pretty solid, pretty solid dude. Put that in our foil pile. Get that over here. All right, for our common, uncommons, and our comments. Did 
It's a pack leader. Followed by a Tormod Crypt. Commons. A cool little Chandra's Mastiff. Ooh, Goblin Wizard. That Goblin Wizard looks gross. For our foil, it is a Speaker of the Heavens and an Elder Gargoloth. Elder Gargler for our Mythic. Very nice. I just pulled one of those before. <clears throat> Uncommons. And our comments. Animal Sanctuary toilet paper for our future endeavors. Boop, put that over there. All right. Yeah, if you guys want to take a look at the Elder Gargler, this is a pretty nasty card. It's like a Thrag Tusk on just straight steroids. Vigilance, Reach, Trample. When he attacks or blocks, choose one. Create a 3 3 green beast creature token. You gain three life. Draw a card. Very versatile. I think I'm going to have to get a collector's booster box after doing all this and opening. Shacklegeist for our rare. Shacklegeisty. Some uncommons. Commons. Grass with darkness. I usually only open three booster boxes per set. Um, so, ooh, back to back. Liliana's Standard Bear. Pretty cool looking purpley dude. And a Containment Priest. Showcase. Borderless. Uh, there's so many things now. Gets confusing. Commons. As long as I don't get a box with just two mythics, I'm happy. Scavenging Ooze. Another one. Uh, Thrashing Brontodon. <clears throat> Pretty good. Uncommon. You guys probably know what this is. Sacrifice it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment for a 3-4 green. Creature, not bad. It's too bad. I miss I really miss the art in the Ikoria set. Like I do not like these cool little cards in here as much as the other ones from Ikoria. Transmography for our rare. Commons. Commons. But yeah, going through the commons and uncommons, it just felt <clears throat> a lot more fun in Ikoria. Just looking at that cool art stuff. Not a fan of this of the art in this set as much at all. Even though this set, in terms of value, is much better. Uh, Falconer Adept for our rare... Or not for our for our foil. So I have a foil pot over here. And a see the truth. I think that makes our see the truth playset. Not positive on that. Definitely have three. 
And this is the last pack to get us through that one third. Third of the way done. Treasure. And a Primal Might for our rare. I've been seeing a lot of people use this on Arena. So I guess it's good. It definitely messes stuff up for you. Shock. And Fury's Protege. I'm opening a mystery booster box right after this. So if you want to check that out, give it a look-see. Foil Bone Pit Brute. And an Azusa. Okay. Uh, I got at least one or two of these from the mystery booster boxes. And that is my third Azusa. I've gotten one in each box. So I've got a play set of Azusas now. Definitely a cool card to have. I think I sold the ones I did have a while back for like 30, 40 bucks. So I'm glad I moved those for sure. Garuk's Harbinger. Not the best card. It's like a 50 cent rare. Um, that also makes my place of those. So just, just with three boxes, I've gotten play sets of a lot of stuff. Grass of Darkness. I think we're also going to do some altered Grass of Darknesses too. Um, so if you want some of those, the, the altered Grass of Darkness and the altered Shocks, let me know. A... All right, this is the first one of these guys. A Kerevek the Spiteful for our rare. And Rain, Eliminate, really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've gone through a lot of these comments on comments that I should be keeping. So when I go organize through all this jank at some point, I will be double checking. Not too many fabled passages. Um, I thought I'd be getting a lot more. I'm just double checking this. Um, make sure there's no mythics I missed. Which I did not. I'm hoping this stuff is on getting on the camera. I'll slide over a little bit more. If the video quality isn't the best, I'm sorry. I'm just starting to do this. But slowly, it will improve. Uh, life goes on. Foil. Wow. Solemn Simulacrum. I'll take it. Great card. Commons. Uh, discontinuity. <laughs> this is this is probably my third or fourth one. This may be a place out of these now. I got two of these back to back last box. We're at three mythics for our box today. And there's more to come. My garbage is just straight full of empty packs. Speaker of the Heavens. Nice little jank deck, lifelink deck, which could potentially be pretty good if somebody figures out a way to do it. I think the best black-white lifelinking deck would be Orzov, definitely. With like Vito... Some other stuff. I'm waiting for waiting to see what people have. Tavern Swindler for the foil. And a fabled passage. We were just talking about that. There we go. Fabled passage. So 
are these Japanese booster boxes better than the USA ones? We have yet to find out. Foil Island. Looking cool. With a volcanic salvo. All right. Let's see what volcanic salvo does. I forgot. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control. Volcanic Sol will deal six damage to, e to each of up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Sorry. I think I opened these off camera. These are the uncommons that I got. Island, Bolt Town Foil, and a Nine Lives Full of Jank. Okay. Commons. Lillian Stewart. Blech. Love that cracking sound. We've got a weird... It's weird. And a Doom Vision for our rare Sanctums. Some other stuff. Comments. Sapling. Temple of Triumph. Not that excited to get that. Furious Tutelage. Good. Shock. Love shocks. All day. That's all we want to do is shock people. Got a little bit of cleanup. I gotta do. Okay, this commons over here. Bam. Bolamo. Bambo Lamo. Beast planes and a ghostly pilfer. Some comments? Comments. All right, one third of the box left, guys. Chandra's Incinerator, 6-6. Six, six. Big boy. Oh, Aquarion Dryad. Couple little useful uncommons here. Foil Kitty and a Feline Sovereign. Other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have protection from dogs. Whenever one or more cats you control deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Well, that's going in the Kitty deck. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen that card yet. Somehow, we've missed getting. A whole bunch of those. Grasp of Darkness. <clears throat> I'm sure it's a 20 cent card. So I can buy a place of them for super cheap. <laughs> Another one of these guys. Brian Talarian Archmage. It's not really Brian, but. <clears throat> okay. There. Some commons. Three mythics. 
with this strangely packed Japanese box. Another Temple of Silence. I guess, oh no, that's our first Temple of Silence. Alright, Chandra's Parley. Good card. Yeah, I wonder <clears throat> these Japanese boosters just are trash. I don't know. Ooh, that's not trash. Well, it doesn't look like trash. It's not that expensive, but it looks cool. Chandra, Heart of Fire, Borderless, show, oh, sweet, okay, alright, stepping up your game a little bit here, towards the end, Just trying to finish it off nice, alright, here into the abyss for our rare some doggos and some shocks Foil Nyambi Esteemed Speaker and a Chromatic Orrery. Okay. Take that. There are some infinite combos going around with this thing that I've been seeing. And now I got two of them. Teferi's Protégé. Mythic number five. Niambi steamed speaker. Ooh, there's something in here. Something looks cool in here. Tormod's crypt. Hmm. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, enthralling hold for uncommons. Uh, I guess maybe it was the light. I saw something blue reflecting off of this backup light that I have. Part. Pirate token. And a Stormwing entity. What is this dude again? This spell costs three less to cast if you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Flying, prowless. Once he enters the battlefield, scry two. He's a 3-3. Three, three. Interesting. Probably go nice in an is that deck. Demir, maybe. Shock. Three packs left. Trace pack goes left. Gamma Wizard, land, foil land, it's our first, no, second foil land, Maze Mind Tome, Tomb, Tome, however you want to say it, some jank, come on baby, two packs left, the last, the last one was nice. I gave it a little pimp slap. I'm going to try that again. Gadrak the Crown Scourge. I have a couple of these guys already. But I have yet to read what it does. So let's see. Flying when he... Uh, Gadrak the Ground Scourge can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. It's a 5-4 flyer, but... 
I don't know. You have to have four more artifacts. Seems frustrating trying to do that. No seriously big hits, but we'll see. Gotta pimp slap it, I guess. That's the new thing I'm doing. I don't condone pimps. But I do condone pimp slapping your magic card packs because it works. Sometimes. Ruined Halo. Whack. For our rare. Ugh. Well, that wraps that box up. These are our Mythics. Best 3 Cat. Elder Gargler. Discontinuity. Chandra. Heart of Fire. And the Chromatic Ori. Definitely not anything like the first box that I opened with uh, Ugin and that foiled mythic dragon. That was a spicy box. We got something else here today. We picked up a Corset 20 white themed booster. Probably some whack a lack stuff in here. But you never know, guys. Cool little plane symbol thing. Let's see what we got. The M20. Bringing it back a whole year ago. Back looks dark. Okay, we got a hanged executioner. Not the best. Not what we wanted. We were trying to get it a Johnny, and we didn't get it. Sometimes, guys. You don't always win the game. That's why it's the gambler's luck. And uh, I'm about to gamble some more with this mystery booster box I'm about to open. If you guys want to watch that, take a look in my channel. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks.